everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these fluffy blueberry pancakes with homemade blueberry syrup, so let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the blueberry syrup. In a saucepan over medium heat, add 2 cups of blueberries, 1 and a half cups of water, and 1 cup of sugar. Then stir occasionally until the sugar has dissolved. Once the sugar has dissolved, bring it to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. Let the syrup continue to simmer for 15 minutes. If the syrup isn't as thick as you'd like, add a cornstarch slurry while it's still cooking. A cornstarch slurry is basically one part cornstarch and two parts water, or to be more specific, one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water mixed together. Once you've added and mixed in the cornstarch slurry, the syrup should start to become thicker as it continues to cook. Once your syrup has finished cooking, add one to two tablespoons of lemon juice. Then take the syrup off the heat and let it cool. Once the syrup has cooled, pour it into a blender. Then, blend the syrup for about a minute or until smooth. When you're finished, pour the syrup through a strainer. Then pour the blueberry syrup in a container and then place it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Now that we've finished making the blueberry syrup, we can move on and make the blueberry pancakes. In a bowl, sift 2 cups of flour, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1.5 teaspoons of baking powder, 1.5 teaspoons of baking soda, and 1 and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once you have finished preparing your dry ingredients, set them to the side. Next, in a bowl, add two and a half cups of buttermilk, two eggs, and three tablespoons of melted butter. Then mix everything together until well combined. Once you have finished preparing your wet ingredients, set them to the side. Next, take your dry ingredients and create a well in the center. Then pour the wet ingredients into the center of the well. Now fold your wet ingredients and dry ingredients together. Make sure not to overmix the batter. When you overmix the batter, your pancake becomes dense and chewy. By the way, the reason I'm folding the batter instead of whisking it is because it makes the pancake thick and fluffy. And remember, do not overmix. Don't mix until the batter is completely smooth. It should be lumpy and look like this. Once you have finished making the batter, you can begin cooking your pancakes. In a large pan over medium-low heat, add a bit of oil or butter. Then add 1 third cup of pancake batter into the pan. Spread the pancake batter out a bit and form a circle. Then add the blueberries. You can add as many as you want. This is optional, but I like to add a bit of pancake batter on top of the blueberries. Once bubbles start to form and the other side of your pancake is golden brown, flip it. 
Cook your pancake until the other side is golden brown as well and then take it out of the pan. Repeat this process with the rest of your pancakes. By the way, the reason I didn't fold the blueberries into my batter and then cook the pancakes is because I like to control how many blueberries are in my pancake and where they are. Once you have finished making your pancakes, you can go ahead and plate them up. When I was plating my pancakes, I spread butter on each pancake. Then I added some strawberries and blueberries. And a bit of whipped cream on top. And this is the finished result! Don't forget to pour the homemade blueberry syrup on top and enjoy! The pancakes were thick, fluffy, and delicious. I absolutely love blueberry pancakes and I use this recipe all the time. It's super easy and the blueberry syrup tastes so good with it. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!